Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. My name is Rajat and today we will be discussing the question Jump Game 2. In this question, we are given an array of non-negative integers nums and we are initially positioned at the first index of the array. Now each element in the array represents your maximum jump length at that position and our goal is to reach the last index in the minimum number of jumps. We can assume that we can always reach the last index. Now in the first example, we can see that we are given this array and we can jump from this position at index 0 to this index 1 and then directly from this index 1 to last index and hence we are taking only two steps in order to reach the last index so we return 2 and similarly in the example 2 now the given constraints with the problem states that the length is in between 1 to 1000 and the jump value can range anywhere between 0 to 10 raised to power 5 so now let's first see how to approach this particular kind of problem. So suppose this is the array given to us and as mentioned we are at the 0th index at the very start. So we will take a one jump from 2 to 3 and from this position we will directly jump to the last index and hence we are taking two steps to reach the last index and that is what we are returning. Now let's take a step back and consider that there is only one value that is present in this array that is 4 and as we are already on the last index which happens to be the 0th index the answer in this case is 0 and now let's suppose there is one more value which is 1 and as we know if there were only one value 4 the answer would have been 0 now there is one more value so we can jump from this 1 to 4 directly and the answer will be the value at 0 plus 1 because we need one more jump to reach from this particular new index to the last index and now we add one more value that is 1 and we need to find how many steps would it take to reach the last index as from this index we can only jump one index and we have already stored the number of jumps it would take to reach from this index 1 to the last index is 1 so the answer to this new index becomes 1 plus 1 that is 2 and now we add one more value 3 with this value 3 it will be more clear to you as to how, what we are doing from this value 3 we can have jump of 1 index jump of 2 index and jump of 3 indexes as the value is 3 we can have maximum jump up to 3 indexes as we compare the value of each of these three indexes which is in the array that we have created we find out that the smallest of all is 0 so it would take only one jump from 3 to reach to the value 4 when we take a jump of three indexes so the result of this 3 will be 0 plus 1 which is 1 and now when we add one more value 2 we do the same thing there are two jumps possible 1 and 2 the minimum of result of 3 and 1 is 1 and 2 so we take the one value that is we can jump to 3 and then from this 3 we can reach the last index easily using the minimum number of jumps so the result here becomes 2 and now as we have calculated the value for this array the value at 0th index in this new array that we have created will be the result that it would take only two steps to reach from this index to the last index. So now let's summarize what we are doing. We are iterating from the last index towards the zeroth index and with every jump we need to find out the minimum result of all the previous values and just add one to it and the result will be stored at the zeroth index of this new array. So now it's time to code this particular approach. So as discussed we needed a array now we know that the value at the last index will be always 0 as it is the index that we need to reach so the value at dp of n minus 1 will be 0. The value in this dp array can range anywhere between 0 to the length of the number so we will initially fill this array with the integer dot max value. So now we need to start an iteration from the second last index till the 0th index. For each of the value present at index i we need to find out the minimum of all the values in between the index and index plus the jump that we can take from this index i. So we'll first declare a minimum variable and now we need to loop where jump can lie from i plus 1 till either 
it has reached the value n minus 1 or i plus the value present at this index i. We find out the minimum. Now we need to check if the minimum is not equal to integer at maximum value. Then we can put this value into the dp position at i and plus 1. And at the end the answer will be stored at dp of 0. So we will return that. So now let's try to run this code. It will be less than. Now let's try to run this code. So it ran successfully. Let's submit this. So it got submitted successfully. The time complexity in this case will be O of n square where n is the length of the nums array. Well, the space complexity is O of n. How can we reduce the time complexity of the space complexity? So now let's discuss another approach to this particular problem. Coming back to the same example that we had, we can jump a maximum from this starting index two steps and from the value three to the maximum of three steps. And if we use both these indexes for jump, we can reach the last index in just two steps. Focus our attention only on this block wherein we are considering that we can jump a maximum of two steps from this index 0 as the value at this index 0 is 2. So this 2 has a begin and end that is it will begin on the index and it will end on a position 1 and we can use any of the values in between this begin and end to be used as the next jump either we can jump from 3 or either we can jump from 1. At each step, we find out that how much farthest we can reach using the value that is present in this block of two values that is 3 and 1. So with 2, the farthest was 1 and now we shifted to other value that is 3. Now with 3, we can the farthest reach to this last index and now we reach the end index that is 1 that we can reach from the index 0 and now the begin is this index 1 and the end is equals to the farthest position because that is how much we can jump if we had used any of the value present from the previous step and hence the answer becomes two steps because there will be a counter which gets incremented as and in when we reach a certain index which is also the end of the previous jump. So the basic idea is once you reach the end of a jump you need to use another jump in order to reach a farthest position and with each index the farthest position changes finding out the maximum of it and as and when the index reaches the end of a particular jump we change the end position to the farthest position because that is how much distance we can cover using any of the value present in between this beginning and end of the previous jump. So now let's try to code this approach and then it will be much more clear to you. So as discussed we needed three pointers. We need a begin pointer, an end pointer and the farthest pointer and we will also need a jump index. We will start our iteration from the zeroth index till the second last index. Now every time we come across a uh, index we need to update the farthest value to the maximum of the farthest or current index plus the maximum jump that we can take from this index i. Now if we have reached an index which is the end of the previous jump we need to update this end to the farthest value and also we need to increment the jump variable as we will need one more jump as we have reached the end of the previous jump and at the end the answer will be the jump variable. Let's try to run this. So it ran successfully. Let's submit this. So it also got submitted successfully. The time complexity in this case is O of n while the space complexity is O of 1. We've also made a video on jump game 3 and 4. So do check out those videos as well. That will be a great practice for you guys. Do let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one.